I'm going to show you how you can make your first AI agent. Now, this is a complete beginner's tutorial, so you do not need to know how to code or need to know how to make n to n workflows. But first, I'm just going to show you how it works before we start building. So now I click on chat here and I ask it what happened in Los Angeles recently. This chat will be sent to the OpenAI model, which will then use either Wikipedia or Google search to send me a response. As you can see here, the OpenAI model it used Google search and used the search query, query recent news Los Angeles and got the this output, which it then used to send me a message back, as you can see here in the left part of the chat. So the, how we can do this is we can actually make a new workflow in NHN. So just go to NHN and create a free trial. And then we can click on add first step. So as you can see on the right hand side here, when we click on add first step, we get a question, what triggers this workflow? Now we can either trigger it manually on app event, on a schedule, on a web call, etc. But for this one, we want to trigger it on a chat message because we want to send a chat message to the AI. So once you click on that, you can you see that you get an option down in the left and you can just test the chat if you do want to. However, we know that the chat that the chat is set up correctly. So we can just click outside of this. Uh, and now the next step we can do is we can want to add an AI agent. So if you click here, we want to say to NHN what will happen next. Now we want to search for AI agent. So if you just search for that and click on the AI agent, so as you can see, you get this screen pop up right here for the settings of the AI agent. Now, first, it just want to want us to tell it what kind of an agent we want to use. Is it a tools agent? Is it a conversational agent? Open AI functions agent. And for this example, we will just use the tools agent because we want to use Wikipedia and Google search for the tools that the AI can use. And for the source of for the source for prompts, we obviously want to use the chat trigger, which is a connected node, which is the node before this AI agent node. So leave that as is, and we can just click out of this. If you click, if you click over the top of this screen, it will be set. And then you can click on hold control and click on the left mouse click to drag the screen right here. And then we want to set the chat model, as you can see from this little sign right here, this, this little red sign right here, is that the chat model is required and needs to be set. So click on the plus sign, and we want to use OpenAI model for this one. You can also use uh, any model you want to use where you have set up some API keys. Uh, Mistral has a free trial, so you can use that if you like. But for now, I want to use OpenAI chat model. And in here, as you can see, once again, you get some settings for the node. And we want to use uh, my OpenAI account. If you have not set up an OpenAI account, you can just head over to OpenAI uh, API and make a new project where you will get your API keys. And you will enter that in here to basically connect to your uh, OpenAI API. And for the model, uh, we would like to use GPT-40 Mini. This is a good model and also quite uh, inexpensive. And for the options, we do not need to set any other options, really. Uh, this is just frequency penalty, maximum number of tokens, et cetera, et cetera. You can set that if you have some more comprehensive uh, queries. But for now, we'll just leave it as is. And we can, all, uh, again, click outside of the screen. And now we have set up our uh, OpenAI chat model. We can try this little workflow right now if we click on the chat. And we can say in, say just hello. And you can see what the chat responds with. As, as you can see, it responded with hello. How can I assist you today from our hello chat, which was first the output input and then the output, right? As you can see right here. Now we want to add some memory so that the chat actually remembers who we are. So let's say if I click now say, uh, hi, my name is Jens. And then I say, uh, what is my name? And as you can see, it does not know my name, even though I just said it because it does not have access to the memory. So for the chat to have access to the memory, we need to add a memory node here. And from the right hand side, you get 
a couple of different options. For now, we would just like to use the window buffer memory because it is the easiest setup. So click on window. And as you can see, we get some settings here again. The only thing you need to worry about is the context window length, which is basically how long the memory is, how many messages the chat will remember or have in memory. So uh, five is fine for our purpose. And we will just click outside of this node again. Now, if you try this chat again, we can say, uh, my name is Jens. If you now say, what is my name? You can see that the chat now has this window buffer memory, as you can see here, and it uses that window buffer memory. The chat uses the window buffer memory to get my name, which was said in the last message. So last thing we will want to do is create the tools so the chat can actually become an AI agent that uses tools to uh, basically get some information for us. So the first tool we want to use is Wikipedia. And as you can see, Wikipedia does not need any setups. We can just click outside of that again. And the other tool we want to add, if you click on the plus button again, is the SERP API. As you can see, this is a Google search API. So what you need to do is you need to search up a SERP API and you need to get your API tokens, sign up for a free account, you get 100 searches per month. So that should be more than enough. Then you need to connect to your SERP API account in here by just adding your API key. And then once you've done that, you can click outside of this again. And now if you try this once again, we can uh, refresh this page by just clicking on the delete button right there and the refresh button in here. So we have reset all the chats. If you now just say, what happened recently in Los Angeles? As you can see now, the chat used the SERP API to get the information from a Google search. From what, from what we can see, the chat used the search recent news uh, Los Angeles as a search query and got this response from the Google search, which it then used again to get the response output that we can see here in the left-hand side in the chat. Recently in Los Angeles, the area has been facing sign uh, significant challenges due to wildfires, etc., which is the correct answer. Now, as you can see, the chat decided itself to use the SERP API and not Wikipedia. So the cool thing about this is I can actually uh, I just need to turn my camera on again. There we go. Uh, you could actually make have many other, other tools here and then make the chat basically choose and pick and choose between any of those tools. So to try uh, try to make to use uh, Wikipedia, we can say, uh, what is a gorilla? As you see now, the chat used the Wikipedia to get a, a response and we now get a response, which is, as you can see here from Wikipedia, it said gorillas are herbivorous, uh, predominantly ground dwelling, which is what the chat used to get, uh, to basically write the response back to us. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe. That would mean a lot. And I will be coming out with a lot more videos on NNN and how to make different types of cool AI agents that do a lot more than just this agent right here. And I will see you in the next video.